Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher, and today I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw a turkey. The project comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's in the corner. It really helps me make more of these. Now, let me show you how to draw that very fun and very easy turkey. One of my favorite things about this turkey tutorial is that you have lots of room to add fun designs to the feathers. I made a pattern with lines and arrows, but you could always make yours much more fancy. First, you need to collect your art supplies, a sheet of drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and some crayons. You can also download this free How to Draw Turkey tutorial from my website. Before you begin your drawing, it helps to make some guidelines on your paper. By simply folding and creasing your paper in half in both directions, you'll have guidelines that match my tutorial, which really help as you draw each step. Step number one, place your pencil in the middle and draw half of an oval on the right side of the paper. Then draw a matching half oval on the left side. Step number two, Draw a line extending to the right and left of the body. It's best to draw the curve of the back tail feathers in two steps. Start with the right side, then draw the matching left side. Step number three, draw the curvy neck and head. And don't forget to erase the line inside so it looks like the head is in front of the body. Step number four, add the beak, waddle, and the eye. Step number five, draw two simple feet below the body. Step number six, now it's time to draw the tail feather lines. Start with the center line on the fold. Add an angled line to the right and left of the center. Draw another pair of lines which look like they match each other. Continue with one more pair of lines and add one final pair of lines. The goal is to have them look like they're all evenly spaced, but they don't have to be perfect. Step number seven. Now you can fill those feathers with whatever kind of design you want. I'm going to make mine simple lines and arrows. Closed shapes like circles and diamonds might be fun too. I just recommend choosing one design and then repeating it on each feather. Step number eight. I'm going to add lots of feather lines around the body so it looks like it has some texture too. And to finish this drawing, I just need a zigzag line for the grass. Step number nine. Okay, it's time to trace this drawing with a marker so all those lines show up really well. No need to rush, working slowly will always give you neater results. When you're done tracing, it's a good time to take a minute and erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing. Now it's coloring time. I'm gonna start with a brown body. The good thing is you can color right over those marker feather lines. I found a color called Burnt Orange, which I really like for the tail feathers. You could certainly use a wide variety of colors though, if you wanted to. Next comes the green grass. Press hard to get lots of green color. The beak and feet are colored in yellow. And that little shape under the chin gets filled in red, of course. And lastly comes the light blue sky. Be sure to press hard here too, as a nice bright sky will really help your turkey stand out. Okay, this drawing is done. I love how this turkey is made from a simple oval and fan shape. It allows for all kinds of variations but keeps it easy for everyone to do at the same time. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial and I really appreciate your wanting to learn more about drawing. 
I have even more tutorials like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including how to draw a pumpkin and how to draw a cornucopia. I hope you have a chance to check them out.